guys! I made a large wall decor with interesting niches. And I made this to be hanged behind the TV in my room. This is similar to a DIY that I made a long time ago. And it's much smaller and the link is going to be in the description box below. But the one that I just recently made has just three niches. And then it's large enough to cover up a large wall space that I have behind the TV in my room. And then I also made a quick and easy floral that can be used during and after the festive season. I'm going to be starting off the project with a trifle board and then add in an extra cutout to increase the length. I have two trifle boards and I'm increasing the length for both of them and I'm using duct tape to do that. I drew out three boxes and then I'm going to be carving out these boxes using an X-Acto knife. The measurements that I'm using is because of the size of the wall that I intend to cover but then you can use your own measurements for the wall space you intend to cover. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. Now that I was done with the first trifle board, I put in the second one at the bottom. And then all I'm going to be doing after doing this is tracing out the squares to make it easier for me. After I was done with this, I put both boards together. And then all I'm going to be doing here is trying to gauge how deep I would want the niches to be. I decided to make it 6 inches and I'm going to be cutting out the parts of the board that I'll be needing for the depth of my niches from a foam board. And I got a strong foam board from Walmart. I'm making the depth 6 inches so it will be able to carry decorative vases. These are the cutouts that I made that I'm going to be cutting again to fit the dimensions for the box. Ended up using two foam boards for the overall design. When I was done with this, I repeated the same thing for the other boxes. And now I'm going to be placing the second trifle board on top and then gluing them together. And now for the sides, I'm going to be covering them up with a cutout from a trifle board. For the lighting inside each and every one of the boxes, I'm going to be using Fairy Street Lights that uses a remote and the link is going to be in the description box below. All I did was just glue the string lights around the back of each of the boxes. When I was moving the string lights to the next box, all I did was just to cross it over. All the string lights that were outside, I held them down with tape. And then I glued the battery pack inside the design. 
This is the wallpaper that I'm going to be using that I have at home to cover up the front of the design. But then feel free to personalize the front of the design to suit your taste. The imperfection that you see is because of the boxes, so I turned it to the back. And then I carved off the shape neatly. This is a decorative mirror design that's for the corners that I'm going to be using. And it comes with a guide. And the link is going to be in the description box below. It's like an easy puzzle to just put the pieces together to form a perfect pattern for the overall design. Once you have placed your design, then you can remove the protective film that's on top. These are LED strip lights that I will put around the design and then it comes with an adhesive backing so it's easy to attach it to the design. Now hanging it on the wall was kind of tricky. I tried using hooks at first or even command strips. Command strips could work but then I ended up with just nails in these two holes and then nails at the bottom. So this is the first nail by the left here and then the second nail is by the right. I also put two nails at the bottom because I left the top and the bottom open. The shiny lights you see at the back is not glue. Those are the fairy lights. The color scheme for my room is white, black and gray. This is what it looked like before I mounted the design on it. And then this is what it looks like with the design. make a floral decor that can be used during and after seasonal periods and I got this twig from outside and then I'm gonna be using gold confetti cutouts the circular ones and all I'm doing is just gluing them to the twigs You can make your floral design scanty or you can make it full, it's all up to you. You can also use twigs with a lot of branches. made this for two transparent bases to give a subtle look and then this is what it looks like with the overall design and guys I'm so sorry for the trifle board that's behind it does not look so neat but then I placed it there so you can have a better view of the overall design Like I said before guys, I made this design to cover up a wall space that's behind the TV in my room. This is really large and the overall measurement is 36 inches by 56 inches. Now if you want it on a smaller scale, I have a video for a different design. And the link is going to be in the description box below and it's also going to pop up at the top right. color scheme in my bedroom is white, black, and gray, so the color scheme for the design is perfect. It even matches the seating area besides it. And guys, don't you just love the way the light that's at the back of each of the boxes makes it look like all the items that you put inside are sparkling. Let me know what you think about this design in the comment section below and remember to like and share this video. Thank you so much for watching. I have other videos linked in the description box below to check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.